Hello. I love lattes so much. Coffee just means the world to me. It's such a, a comforting staple and a, a consistent part of my day and such a fun way to be social with people and go out for coffee. Coffee is just the best. Um, and I really, really, really love a good latte. But I was watching a video by the channel About to Eat where they were cooking up some fun food and one of the chefs, Eka Lam, made a comment that a latte doesn't technically have to have coffee in it. This got me thinking. Um, I just got really excited about all the different things that you could turn into a latte. So that's what we're going to do this week. Uh, we're going to get some, some produce and we're going to make some fun food lattes with maybe some things that shouldn't be a latte. It's too early to tell. We'll have to see. Uh, and I'm very excited. So uh, we need to run to the store really quick and grab some fresh produce. Okay, we have all our produce. <laughs> The first latte we're gonna make is an apple latte, and I'm thinking of doing like a cinnamon apple latte. I'm very excited. I'm imagining it's gonna be, well, the texture could be terrible. I don't know yet, but I'm hoping it's gonna be a very warm and cozy drink, which it isn't really warm and cozy weather. It's been a very nice day, but it's fine. You can be cozy anytime. a mess but now we have our apple milk so I'm gonna add a little bit more milk to this and then give it a steam okay our first latte, which is a cinnamon apple latte. <laughs> that is very good. <laughs> That's super tasty. It's very cozy. It tastes very, it's very light. It's very simple. I was expecting it to kind of maybe have more of like a rustic flavor, but it's very delicate. It is really, really good though. The cinnamon is such a nice little touch to the apple. Ah, oh, it's so cozy and good. The texture, there's a little bit of grain to it. It's not like perfectly silky smooth. I strained out most of it, but some still got in. But I think it's nice, like it works. Like I don't, I don't hate it. Not like I, you know when you drink something that has like some texture to it and it's not quite pleasant. This is not that, this is very, it works. There's a little bit of texture, but it's nice. This is exactly what I want to drink before I go to bed as I put on my socks and I read travel books. Like this is just the perfect cozy drink. I almost wish it was winter again so I could enjoy this as it was cold outside. Latte number one. We're gonna give this one an eight out of 10. Just because to be quite honest, I kind of wish it had a little bit more apple flavor. Hello. I am very excited. Today is Pear Day, uh, and I'm excited for two reasons. One, because I got this new cup, and I'm very excited. I felt like we needed a special cup for our lattes this week, so I got this cup. I think it's super cool, and I'm very excited to try it out. 
Uh, and two, because I learned that my rice cooker has a steaming function. What? I mean, it's not that surprising. Rice cookers can do a lot of incredible things. And I keep seeing all these cool videos of people making really awesome meals in their rice cookers, and I am going to try it out one day. I, I guess I never knew that my rice cooker could steam, which is ridiculous because apparently it comes with a steamer basket that I just didn't realize. Uh, so we're going to try that out today. I wasn't initially planning on steaming the pears, but it sounds good now. Um, we're going to do a pear not make latte. And yeah, I've been itching to use the rice cooker all day. I'm so excited to try it out. Can't reach the steamer. <laughs> okay, we're gonna let our pears steam. I I really don't know that steaming them is the best method. I just really wanted to use my rice cooker steamer because I was so excited to try it. So I think it'll turn out okay. Pear nutmeg latte, and I'm very excited. <sighs> oh my gosh, this is so good. I think the food processor really worked on this one because the texture, this tastes like when you wake up on a summer morning and the windows open and it's crisp and kind of chilly outside, but you have your blankets on you and you're nice and warm and cozy and you're wearing nice socks. Oh, it's so good. And it's super thick compared to um, yesterday's apple latte. This is very tasty. I think the nutmeg is a nice touch. I'm glad I added the nutmeg. Okay, I will see you tomorrow for day number three. I almost forgot to rate this. Okay, I'm gonna rate this one a 9.6 out of 10. It is so cozy to drink and so delightful and thick and creamy and delicious and rich and frothy and I could keep coming up with words. Honestly, you just gotta try it. 9.6 out of 10. Hello. Today, we're gonna try an avocado latte. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna go. It could go terribly, but I feel like there's a chance it could end up being really, really tasty. So, uh, yes. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just try it. Avocado latte. Oh my gosh. That's actually good. That tastes really good. Wow. It doesn't taste like much. The avocado is not a super prominent flavor, but it's very creamy and it's very smooth. And it's got a little bit of that avocado flavor. Uh, I added a little bit of sweet too, because avocados aren't naturally sweet, so I added some monk fruit. 
uh, and I think it's really good. Okay, I'm very, I'm very impressed by this latte. I did not have high hopes at all. The avocado latte idea was totally a whim, so I'm very excited that it really turned out well. Cheers. Hello. It is a beautifully gloomy day outside. It is rainy and cold, and I am loving it. So I'm cooking lunch right now, I'm making soup, because you gotta have soup on gloomy days. Um, but I thought it would be a good time to make our next latte, which is gonna be a plum latte, and I think it's gonna turn out pretty, pretty good. Okay, we have our plum latte. I'm very excited, let's give it a try. Ooh, oh! <laughs> this has gotta be one of my favorites yet. Oh my goodness. I think, I don't know, I think we can get a little creative. Let's see if we can add something to it. Okay, we're gonna add some cloves. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I don't know, I just felt like I needed a touch of something. I think the cloves are good. This is really tasty. It's, the plum flavor is, again, pretty delicate. All these lattes aren't super packed with flavor. They're just a very nice, light drink, which is very enjoyable. And it has been gloomy and cold all day outside. And this is just the perfect drink to go with it. I think I really like the cloves. We'll give this one it's really good, but I was just blown away by the avocado yesterday, so I think this one gets a 7.5 out of 10. Okay, today is our last day of turning fun produce into lattes, and it is sweet potato day. I have with me a little sweet potato, and I really, really want to create like a really warm, cozy, like rustic flavor with this one. I feel like all the lattes we've had this week have been really light and fresh and super delightful and they've been like the the plum one and the uh, avocado one have been like super cozy but I really want a super like caramelized flavor from this one so we're gonna roast this in the oven with some sweetener um, and see if I can get like a nice caramelized taste to it yeah it's gonna be great
our last latte of the week. I'm very excited. I spiced it up with some cinnamon and some allspice to kind of give it more of that rustic flavor. So, let's see. All right, and I had to top it with just a little bit of whipped cream because it's our last day. Let's get crazy. Let's see. Mm. Oh, snap. That's really good. It doesn't taste like a sweet potato. It tastes like pumpkin pie. I mean, I guess maybe that's my fault because I added the allspice, but this is a pumpkin pie latte right here. And it is really, really good. <laughs> oh, man. If you guys have ever had the pumpkin pie blizzards from Dairy Queen, that's what this tastes like. It's so... The flavor isn't as deep as I wanted it to be. I really wanted, like, super rich, bold flavors. And I just don't think with this method of making lattes, that's how I'm gonna get it. Um, I think I'd have to like really like roast the potato for a really long time and caramelize it and add lots of butter and other things, which I don't know that that would go good with a latte. So I'm happy with it. It's not quite how I wanted it to be, but I think it turned out really good. And it tastes like a pumpkin pie ice cream. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't taste like sweet potato. That's so funny. <laughs> well, there you go. I'm really happy with the way all the lattes turned out. They're very, how do I explain this? The, the level of flavor that they have is like fresh laundry. Does that make sense? Like it's not gonna punch you in the face. It's not like bam, fruit. In fact, it's even less intense than like a smoothie. It's very light and enjoyable and crisp and really gets the, the lighter notes of all the produce that we've used this week. And I think that's really cool. I'm happy to have learned a cool technique for making lattes. Um, I really enjoyed it. But yeah, okay, last latte. I'll give it, this one's really good. I'm gonna give it a 9.2 out of 10. Uh, so I think that means the avocado one is our winner for the week. Okay, cool. If you wanna see more videos like this, then subscribe. If you like the video, then give it a thumbs up. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I highly encourage that you make one of these lattes. And if you did, tell me how it went. I'm really, really curious to see what other produce. We could do like a hundred episodes of these things with all the produce that there is in the world. So, uh, cheers. I hope you had a great time. I know I did. I will see you next time.